we, as you know, have been laser focused on creating jobs for the American people since President Obama took office and we were losing 750,000 jobs a month, uh, passing uh, the Recovery Act and moving forward on a number of different measures to turn things around. The good news is that we are now gaining jobs, but we're not gaining them fast enough. The challenge we have had is that as we have moved forward, uh, we have not had the support from the Republican minority to get the job done. Uh, we have passed significant legislation that's made a difference, but we also have been blocked on a number of fronts. There has now been 245 uh, motions uh, to either to file cloture or objections this session, which is the most uh, ever uh, in the history of the country. In Congress, the recession Republicans vote to block legislation. On Main Street, those are votes to kill jobs. The recession Republicans vote against tax cuts for small business owners are votes to undercut our nation's main job creation engine. The recession Republicans votes to preserve tax loopholes for employers who ship jobs overseas are votes to give American jobs to foreign workers. Recession Republicans votes to block an extension of unemployment insurance for laid off workers at a time when job creation hasn't fully recovered are votes not only to kill jobs, but also to let families sink. We can go ahead, uh, according to Senator Kyle, and have tax cuts that are unpaid for and add to the debt, but we cannot take care of those families struggling in the economy they created. Bottom line is we are in a situation where over and over again, as we work to uh, move this economy forward, as we work on policies that are clearly turning things around, we are not all the way there, but we are coming out of the hole. We are hearing from the folks that dug the hole that we should give them shovels to go back and dig a bigger hole. If you enthusiastically supported the policies that devastated the job market in the first place, and you enthusiastically worked to block a range of job creation legislation during the recovery, then it's fair to say that you have adopted a job killer's agenda. It's a strategy meant more to increase their size in the Senate than it is to create the number of jobs necessary for our families. And in that respect, uh, it is you know, not a political equation. It is a horrible equation for the nation's future and for <clears throat> our family's future.